Hey everyone. Um, I want to spend a couple of minutes walking through this assignment with you since it's the final one and you can't revise it. I want to make sure that you are all on the same page. You have in this module read two works, Congreve's Way of the World um, and Swift's Gulliver Travels. Both of these are considered humorous writings. Um, so what, what we're going to do is um, look at both works and identify what kind of humor we see in it. So a couple of these, um, and, and I, this is all absolutely stolen from different places on the internet. I didn't have time to do this from scratch, so thank you to everyone who let me steal from them. All right, so um, as you go through, you'll see some of these terms have longer explanations, like satire, and you'll see that they're in red. Satire, farce, um, comedy of manners, Lots of, um, lots of characteristics for that one. A discussion of wit and sentimental comedy. I think that's the last one. Oh, and romantic comedy, right? And what are the characteristics of these are. I've got then some other forms of uh, humor in black. Picaresque is a little longer, but the rest of them are pretty short. Gallows or black humor, uh, comedy of humors, high or highbrow humor, hyperbole or exaggeration, I irony, just a little bit. We're not going to spend a lot of time with, with all the different forms of irony. Um, you know, juvenile, humor, mordant, parody, screwball, situational, slapstick. All right, I think that's all of them. So what you're going to do, let me see if I can get back to our page here. Here we go. Here are the instructions. Um, You've got one slide in last week's folder, in the, in the folder on um, uh, restoration comedy, um, the Congreve play. There is one slide in that um, lecture that talks about restoration comedy in general, what some of its characteristics are. So you'll need to go back to that one as well. Um, but for your final assignment, you're going to explain which of those red, right, let's look at that again, which one of these red highlighted forms of humor seems to fit um, our two works the best. So you might decide that um, wit is most is best is the best form to describe way of the world and you might decide sentimental comedy is the best for Gulliver's Travels or you might decide they're both satire. It doesn't really matter, all right? But you have to then go kind of prove that, prove your selection by going through the characteristics. We've done similar activities to this. What are the characteristics of satire? How do they appear in both Gulliver's Travel and Way of the World if you decide they're both satire? Okay? So your task is to um, explain where these elements of these different kinds of humor are in these two works. Um, once you're done with that major component, you also need to go back to the list and look at the um, shorter definitions in uh, black highlighting, right? Picaresque, ir irony, parody, etc. And just based on these very short um, definitions, which one of these also appear? Does that make sense? So we're looking at the red and spending most of our time there. But we're also going to go through, and this is not an exhaustive list. There are lots more kinds out there. These are the ones that I thought might fit the best. So any of these you choose, you'll be correct as long as you choose particular examples that actually highlight. So if you're going to say there's some elements of sophomoric humor, um, you need to provide an example, right? So where you could go wrong is providing an example that does not fit the, the genre that you specified. Does that make sense? All right, so let's go back to those instructions again. Um, here we go. Explain the specific characteristics from your selected genres and based on how well it fits the particular genre, um, argue that it's, it, it has these elements in it, therefore it must be um, irony or parody or whatever, all right? Um, your final essay should be formal, which means I need to see an introduction. I need to see formal paragraphs. So I'm not looking for one long paragraph. I'm looking for actual paragraph breaks like you were taught to do, right? Um, topic sentences that sort of help me move through your um, um, argument, right? So I imagine most of you will have 
half the essay be on one play and half on the other. But however you decide to organize it, just use those topic sentences to lead me through what you're doing. Your minimum word count is 500 words. This is due May 12th, and I cannot accept any late work because that is the last day of class, and I only have 48 hours to turn grades around. And I have quite a number of, law, uh, of online classes, and they all have their same due date on the 12th. I try to give you as long as possible, but it's really hard for me to get through everything. So if it's late or you don't think you're going to be able to finish it, just submit what you have and at least get some points. Does that make sense? Okay. <laughs> and a rubric will be provided. 